Well, we finally made it to the island. Hee haw! We gotta get down to the beach here. It looks beautiful, mind you. I like the long hair, bro. Oh, buddy, looking good. Must Bye. be nice to be young. <laughs> no. Huh? No, I'm not. I can feel it. <laughs> what? You're barking at me? It's right there, man. We almost made it. There's our beach. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. I'm on my way to the Calgary Airport to pick up Amos Rodriguez. We're gonna have <laughs> off to a good start. Hey, you need a ride? And there he is. How are you doing, buddy? Hey. Well, okay. <laughs> 30 day survival challenge. But I tell you what, I'll just be glad to get out of the city. I just yeah. do not like cities. Uh, we're heading to the island. We got to try to make some headway today or we won't get there tomorrow. So you're not stopping for grab just in case you don't get none? <laughs> <laughs> I, if I had time, I would love to, you know? Yum. Well, see, that's the neat thing about YouTube is, I mean, your job goes wherever you go. Whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> Don't think we want to kayak that one. <laughs> we do some extreme sports. <laughs> oh, that'd be extreme. It'd be the last time. <laughs> last time you do that sport. <laughs> Just letting a moose sleep a bit longer. Um, I think he's probably tired from the trip. So Almos and me are at my buddy Jim's. I don't know what all's in here, but let's see. We got some Fowler's coffee. <laughs> awesome. We got a big thing of adobo, so we should be all right with that. Fishing line, bug spray. Fowler has his own bug spray now. <laughs> hey Zach. Found this bug though. I hope it works. <laughs> awesome. Nice. So you're pretty much set. Yeah, my bed for the next month. So Ramos is just organizing his hammock. Hell yeah. So they're pretty comfortable, they're pretty warm. So thanks, superior gear. So basically <laughs> we missed our turn scrambling around we had a reservation i guess we were in the wrong category we we were oversized so we had to put something on top i almost jumped out and tied something to make us the right height and now we don't know what's going on but <laughs> we're only one always an adventure always eh? always man <laughs> yeah it's funny I that they it. would want you to be higher yeah to make it <laughs> Be the last vehicle that doesn't get on. That happened to me twice now. No. We got seven minutes. We're pushing it. We're, we're, pretty we're right. pushing it. Wouldn't there be something if we get on this one? We're pushing our luck, but it's somehow working. Living on the edge, <laughs> like always. Living, Living on, the, on edge. the edge. Next ferry? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you asking me when it's. No, like, so oh, no, we're not making this. Huh? You guys will be on the next one. Thank you. Okay. There's nothing in birth right now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so we make well, it. Well, no, we're not making this one, she says. Oh, we're not making this one. No. So we'll no. just kind of, yeah, hang out. Wait. For not two hours. Bummer. So we, we did actually make it. <laughs> so we're actually going to the island, which is cool because it's only... It's true. <laughs> i 
We finally made it to the island despite all the <laughs> setbacks I guess now I'm feeling better old Ann Tucker was a fine old man washed his face in a frying pan combed his hair with a wagon wheel died of a toothache in his heel anybody remember that song you're probably gonna be pretty old if you do, like me. Basically, you know, we haven't got to the location yet. And it's kind of a guessing game because I'm not sure if, um, if it's gonna be a good spot or not. I came out here just looking around. I've been up early. I'm letting Amos uh, sleep. We have stayed two nights in motels now at this point which I said I wasn't going to do after that bed bug incident. Look at what it does to you. I really don't like it, but we've never gotten to a spot where we can set our hammocks up yet. This is part of the problem. Missed two ferries. Uh, well, no, we actually only missed the one ferry, but we had to wait for two sailings. And then we got in the wrong lineup to the wrong ferry. Uh, it was a bit of a nuisance. Part of the adventure is just getting to the location. We're hoping it's gonna be suitable as far as fish, berries, plants. But again, on any adventure, any survival challenge, you never know till you get there what's gonna happen. But this is gonna be an exciting adventure. So stay tuned and watch all the episodes. I'm sure you'll learn something and I'm sure it'll be entertaining. I got a perfect partner, Almos Rodriguez and he's a lot of fun we're getting along really well at this point but it's time to get this adventure really rolling here i'd like to see if we can catch a salmon before we head in the bush too okay so we're heading out of town and there's breakfast i'm gonna keep this for a most that's pretty flat but he'll eat anything okay so i just got back from a uh, spot down here, ran into a guy that watch is watching us both on Frozen right now. <laughs> He's a local guy. Okay. And he, his favorite fishing spot is where we're going. No way! He told me what to use, what we're going to catch. Perfect. He says right now in that river we're going to, there will be 30 pound spring salmon. No and way! And he showed us what to use. He says there will be oysters. Uh, crab fishing's good. Nice. Lots of berries. He also said we can probably catch halibut from shore. No way, that's cool. He said if you guys go hungry, you're not bushmen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is the real okay. test. <laughs> All right. We're not supposed to go hungry here. <laughs> but he did say there is a lot of bears because they come that river, come to that river to fish the salmon right now. Of course, yeah. So we got So we're gonna get some bear spray, we're gonna Make sure we're safe, but it doesn't look like we're gonna go hungry. Okay, sounds so. That's a deal. All right, <laughs> all right, let's get going. Let's do it. <laughs> now here's the downside of everything there's a fire ban so we had to go and pick up a Coleman stove and some propane okay. and we have no choice but to uh, cook that way for now so hopefully it'll rain and they'll lift that meeting Megan and what'd you say you wanted fish I think I want <laughs> uh, like we're not gonna be getting enough fish you want fish I think so clam chowder fish I'm gonna chowder. get clam chowder seafood chowder seafood chowder we have to make it out there <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Nice to formally meet you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, 
We're here. Here, big guy. How you How doing? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Oh, yeah. You're looking well. You're looking young and spry. Young and spry. Young and spry. No. Is this your fighting weight? Do you not know it? Hey, I'm Tyson. I'm a, nice I'm to meet you. Likewise. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. He's, he's trying to give me compliments. Yeah, and and I don't well, know if it's working, but. Uh, yeah, I said that actually. <laughs> what did you have him? Yeah, North? for season seven, I had the uh, feather friends. Oh, yeah. Really What's good. The negative 41? Yep. And then for frozen because they told us it's gonna be rainy, go rainy, yeah. rainy. I got a this one from an English uh, PhD. Mm. It's go. Okay. And it's the only one I found that is yeah. waterproof and feathers. And I could ask him for extra, extra, extra feathers oh. for an extra bag. It was like a three thousand dollar bag. Oh, oh my gosh! Was it awesome? Though? It was awesome. Yeah, oh. I was. I could not see my. I, what was the brand Gucci? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> like gold plated. No, it was like. So this is not like a most and myself, <laughs> but two nights in a motel. And now we're in a campground. Can you believe it? But look but how foggy it is. It's so foggy. We're not whining. <laughs> but thing is, we want to catch a salmon right here in this river, either this morning or maybe tonight yet. But we got to set our hammocks up. At least we're getting closer to the bush. It looks like we might need tarps. Yeah. No raining. way. Yeah, it's, it's starting to rain. rain. So we're going to get set up. Maybe we have enough daylight to hammer a salmon yet. So... Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah, or nighttime right fishing. On. A salmon to take with us when we hike into the bush would be great. You've caught salmon before though, eh? Yeah, when I went to Alaska. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Well, that's the thing when they get in the river, they, they, they don't really feed the same as when they're in the ocean, eh? Yeah, no way. Because they're coming for a reason. Yeah, they're coming to spawn. Yeah. Right. Oh, See, yeah, they're even jumping, right eh? Yeah, they're jumping out there. Look at that one. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of monofilament, man. Oh, see it broke. Uh-oh. I'll just tie it together. You're even jumping out there. Yeah, jumping out there. But yeah, what I don't like about monofilament is it springs off like a slinky. Yeah. Like, what's the point in that? It just boing and it just... Uh, we got the seaweed happening. So I'll probably just go real short on this one. Because each strap is like 15 feet long almost, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I love these hammocks though, man. Okay, so I gotta fight through the salal. Get in here, fight off. Good. That's probably high enough. Sometimes what happens, buddy, is you think you got it high enough, but it sometimes stretches down, so you just got to make sure that it is high enough. You're going to like these hammocks. Yeah, that's high enough. Perfect. Awesome. I'm always figured out how these buckles work. <laughs> I and I tell you what, man, like, do you think I could figure it out? <laughs> so I just tie the thing to the trees. <laughs> That's what I do. Now Mo C knows what he's doing. Sometimes I think I'm dealing with amateurs and I have to tell them what to do, but I know it's not true in this case. So you get in it and make sure it doesn't sag. See how they sag sometimes? So you're going to have to tighten it, I guess, eh? That should work. Yeah, nice one. Aren't they nice? They're really nice. Hey, P, you got your hammock? Where is your hammock? When I set it up, where is your hammock? <laughs> you found it. You lost it? Come on. <laughs> as long as Finn has a stick, he's happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can set up this one if it, I don't know if it's gonna rain because now it cleared up. Yeah, I did. It was sprinkling in there. Yeah, awesome. We 
we got a lot of crab here to eat. I did eat one or a couple little pieces, but we got to get this done. Finley's dish, but he was drinking water out of it. I think I'll just turn it inside out because I don't like dog slobber on my meat. Now I got a clean dish. Yeah, we just don't want this to go bad. I mean, what a shame that would be, man. Mm -hmm. hey? So good. You're on your own with your own crab, man. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're just going to eat it. Yeah. It's hard to stay out of when you're... <laughs> there goes our light, you see? One thing after another. Tomorrow we will get to the location. It's going to be exciting. We're going to have some real adventures in the bush starting tomorrow. Morning. Day three of the adventure. Today we hope to get out there. It's pretty foggy. Get up and see if we can get a fish and get to this trail. Right here in the campground, we got a bear fishing in the rapids right here, or the shallow. He's going up and down and chasing these fish. We haven't seen him catch one yet, but it'd be great to get on film him catching a fish. That was pretty cool. We'll see more bears fishing and hopefully get video of them catching fish. Well, I'm gonna try for a fish for us. Something to eat before we actually hike into the location. And, um, It'd be nice, but I think the fishing's going to be good anyway. So I don't think we're going to have issues there. And that really sucks not being able to have a fire right now. And I don't really understand because it's not that hot. Uh, the moisture in the air from the fog and everything, every morning, everything's covered in dew. I guess just uh, with the fires that we've had in the past, I guess they're just being overly cautious you could say um not taking any chances but let's use my barbless maps it's all you're allowed in the creeks is barbless so i had a chaser he, he just nudged it. Oh, oh, just about, man. Yeah, they're going after it. Not super aggressive. We got one. We got breakfast, man. If he doesn't get away. Nice silver guy, I can tell. Yeah. <clears throat> we just don't want to lose them. It's a nice one. Nice one. It's a nice one. I just don't know how to land it. Better try to wear them out. It's hard to get down here, eh? <clears throat> there you go. If I can get him.
Yeehaw! <laughs> All right, we got breakfast, buddy. That's a nice one. Hey, there we go. That's a nice silver guy we got. Look at that. Isn't that beauty? Well, I'm happy with that. Nice. <laughs> we haven't left the campground and we have breakfast. Right on. Off to a good start. I almost just had one and it jumped and uh, shook the hook. Oh, did you get a bite? Can't wait to get him at the ocean. Mm -hmm. That'll be cool up there. Oh, it's going to be fun. Oh, the one came after it. See him? You can actually see him come, but he didn't hit it. The most has one on. He's got one. Oh yeah. Oh, he got off. Damn it. <laughs> oh, oh boy. boy. Maybe three times is a charm. The most has another one. Oh, that's a nice one. For size. Don't let him get away. <laughs> Tom. Nice. One each so far. Yeah. So we haven't got to the location, so that's pretty good. Well, I suggest we uh, pack up and clean these yeah. guys. Should yeah, that's a pink. Mm -hmm. nice. Now you're happy. So third time's the charm, buddy. <laughs> Passage. Yeah. I hook into a nice one. The, well, the other one that that threw your hook was bigger. That was a nice one. That was one. bigger. It's big silver. That was nice and big and silver. Yeah. This guy's little on the spawner side, but the meat's still fine. Yeah. You know. Yours is a male too. Maybe it's only the male fish biting. Hey, be like Dave Nessa and eat that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good right now. I'm not completely starving yet. <laughs> Pretty good. We're gonna keep track of our fish, crab. Just, you know, it's just something that people are curious about, who catches the most fish. It's not really a competition. We're gonna share the food that we catch. Make good hammocks. on the huckleberries here. Well, they're kind of dusty because they're on the side of the road, but they're pretty darn big. They're in their prime right now. Mm-hmm. Dusty. We'll find some clean ones.
Well, it looks like we missed our turn, but as you can see, things are not really marked well. If we need any shoes, there's a few here. Up the tree even, that's interesting. It is more likely that we're gonna get, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we missed this turn here. So it's hard to believe, but I guess it is that grown in road, man. He was completely closed up. Yeah, full of alders, but okay. We'll go back, we'll go back. So, we're up above and it looks like we took another wrong turn. And we gotta get down to the beach here. It looks beautiful, mind you. It looks like we're gonna get some surf here. But down the way, down there, there's a beautiful Pacific Ocean. And nothing between here and Japan. I'm assuming this is high tide, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure it's high tide. This might not be kayak country. Get up here, please, Finn. You're gonna fall down the cliff. <laughs> So we ran into, what's Epic, your name? Epic Exio, my name's Ashley Chap. Ashley and- uh, Lauren. Lauren. Drew. I like the long hair, bro. You as well, buddy, looking good. Oh, what's up, my man? I'm Jake. Jake. And uh, we're just uh, talking to these folks and they say the trail's not that hard. I'll decide that, but um, Anyways, they'll be on the next video, I guess, but they are kind of, what do you call yourself, beach combers? So we're beach cleaners. So when beach you, cleaners. If you come across any big white super socks on the beach and they're yeah. full of marine debris, that's us, and then we helicopter it out of here. Okay. Did you save any mussels and clams for us? Oh, I knew you were coming. They're all there for you. Oh, right on. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Please cool, guys. There. We're going to get to uh, work. All right. I got okay. it. Nice to see you. Huh? Keep it real out there, buddy. Well, we're going to do the best we can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stay safe. Have fun. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, ma'am. two things in here. This is the hammock, and this is the first aid kit with my EpiPen. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, because you're allergic to bees, are you? Well, I wasn't until I started mess <laughs> messing yeah. around with bees. <laughs> yeah, and then that and then got, all of a sudden you were. Yeah, then I got an allergic reaction one day. Yeah, all yeah. my limb nodes started swelling, so just in case, I'm gonna keep this around. Well, it's downhill all the way, but it's gonna be uphill all the way next time. Holy crow! I can't imagine. Like, how much do you think that weighs? 120? Yeah, it's gotta be pretty heavy. We got all this camera gear, where it's a lot, the batteries and everything, and then well, gear and yeah. Man, alive. <laughs> Must but, be nice to be young. No. Huh? No, I'm not young. I can feel it. <laughs> well, you're but, only in your 40s, man. <laughs> Never mind, Finn. It's just a stick. If you look at the entrance of our trail, there is no, not an open trail at all. See how far we go. Yeah. Before we get tired. Got my backpack too, but. Oh, this is not gonna be fun. It's a long ways. Well, it's not this long ways, it's steep, and we're we are packing heavy, heavy stuff. Yeah. Hi bro. We made it! We made it! <laughs> You like that, Finn? A little bit of fruit toast. Nice. They got spikes. Watch your head. Nice. Go! <laughs> Different color, I hope. It's no radioactive. But it looks uh, pretty no, good. I don't man. think it is. <laughs> That 
So I had a rude awakening and um, the tide came up. Things are not going good for me.